How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. We're still on the closet lathe. This is like part nine, I think, or about the ninth video uh, on the lathe. And I get the compound cleaned up and mounted and I mount the top of the cross slide uh, on the lathe, uh, basically in this one. And uh, it's not too long of a video, kind of short. Stick with it and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Uh, this is the hand wheel off the closing carriage and the keyway it has a lot of had a lot of slop in it Where the slop is is right halfway down the keyway uh, The little woodruff key where it sits all the time is really worn out and that's where the slop is you move it half an inch either way and It gets nice and tight Well that but that's where it sits. So uh, the keyway is just kind of worn out in there so we're going to have a it's a half inch uh, hole. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut a keyway, a new keyway, half 180 degrees out. Boom, boom. And we'll just broach that out with a, this eighth inch uh, broach. Push out, and there we go. Nice new little eighth inch keyway. Come out good. We'll go test it on the lathe. Well, I've I've re I've removed the uh, carry chair, the apron with the gears and all that. I did not disassemble it. I just removed some of the parts off the back, cleaned up all the chips out of the thing, half inch of sludge in the bottom and flushed it all out that sort of thing uh, and I just uh, slipped it back on here uh, I've cleaned the lead screw and I'm going to set the carriage back on and start getting this back together now they were using a, um, grease on the carriage for the ways uh, cleaned all that out and clean the we're gonna get it converted back to oil with new wipers and all that good stuff smooth so far I still have to I'll put blocks on in the back uh, underneath now they, these all had shims so I may have to reshim that so they're not too tight um, I'll have to get the carriage lock in there and we have front the front uh, blocks also they go up from underneath uh, so we uh, that go right here uh, to uh, hold it down on the front so we'll get we'll get all that in and uh, check all the shims which takes a little while to do and uh, we'll be good I mean, all this stuff is working really good I had to adjust the handle to the right position um, Let's see here, get the, 
that should lock in on the half that's a half nut that works and then you have your um, Cross feed longitudinal wise, and then in and down is your feed for the slide uh, all in one handle. There we go. We're moving along, and we have the uh, thread dial to put on. A few more things need to be cleaned up. Here's the cross slide and the gib. This is a tapered gib, uh, it's tapered. Uh, from here to there in thickness, thin to thick, and on the width, thin to thick. And, uh, that sits in there, and then there's two uh, screws that go in for adjusting it. We just kind of get them started in there. This is going to go in here uh, as a cover over the center. So we're going to take the uh, cross slide nut here and uh, slip that up center there. Hopefully that won't fall out. <laughs> turn so it fits. We're gonna just put a little bit of put a little on that. Started. That goes there. Two little uh, socket head cap screws here. A little bit snug, but it's all brand new, so I don't mind that a little bit. It will, you know, wear in or wear out, but get it down here to the there. We go. We may have to adjust that still. It might be a little too tight.
out. I took the cross light apart and uh, cleaned everything. Yeah. The only thing here is this looks like this corner has been broken off a long time ago. That's the uh, gib side where the gib adjusting screws go in on the end. But that's not going to hurt the operation of it. It was pretty grungy. So we're just going to we're just going to put it back together here. I should have figured out. I didn't remember which way this goes back in. Got a little bend in it. The gib. Oh, wrong side anyway. Is it that way? You can tell because this is thicker here and thinner here, and then so it's thick and thin just the opposite way around. This is the uh, lead screw nut. Yeah, it's worn. It's not worn out. Uh, lead screw's worn, but then, but it's not worn out really yet. It's got a little play in it. I'm just using a whey oil here. Thrust bearing.
This is a spot. The Woodward Key. That should work. We'll, once we get on the lathe, we'll adjust the gib. Here we go. We'll just, well, it sits right on there. And then the screw dropped down. Of course, I turned it without the nut on it. But, there's a hole there, right? We'll get the nuts on there. <laughs> I 
Now those studs are kind of long. And you're going to hold up the compound before you can slip them on there. There we go. Oh, it has a little wear somewhere. That feels pretty good right there, no play. Alright, we're gonna call that a, a compound's done. I think though I have all the blocks that you know pinch it or hold it down on the everything's put back together. Uh lock and uh thread dial and the handle uh for the clutch. Uh, they had a bunch of shims in them. I removed uh, all the front shims and I put in uh, 10,000 shims in the back. They had fives in there. Uh, I put in tens in there so that uh, just, just perfect. And then the front, there's just a tiny, tiny bit, but putting the shims in makes it worse uh, because the way they're worn, they had the shims in the wrong place. Uh, so you had even more play in the front. Uh, the blocks need to come out. I need to really grind them a little bit, make them too, make them smaller, uh, if anything. But there's hardly anything. I could just barely feel any movement lifting it in the front. The back's and it's very smooth now. Before it was way too tight. There's a shaft. For the hand wheel for the longitudinal feed on the carriage to the closing. Now the, I put a new key in also. The other key was pretty wobbly in the keyway. This one has a little tiny bit but very little now. The keyway probably has a little wear on there too. And the new keyway is right right here so we'll just slip this on. And we're gonna see how how good all this play is now. There we go. And I'm going to add a washer. There wasn't a washer before, but I'm going to add one anyway. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of play, <laughs> but way better than it was. Is it? 
just ever so much right now. So that feels really good. Oh, that will feel good. Hold it up there. Yeah. I think we're good to go. Simple fix. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks for watching.